everyone and welcome back. We are still looking at our Class Dojo application. So one thing that I wanted to show you, this video will actually be a little bit shorter than the rest of them, will be our big idea videos. These videos are so cute, but they really help with the social emotional learning aspect of, you know, helping to educate the whole child. These are so great. It's a cute little five minute video. It has discussion questions. We use these for so many different reasons. If I saw we were struggling with, you know, empathy or growth mindset, we would just randomly play these um, during my transition sometimes, uh, during morning meeting, during our um, afternoon community meeting, which is like right before school got out. So many different reasons why I use these, but these are so great. So these are their big idea videos. So they have different, um, sections. So they have like growth mindset, gratitude, uh, moods and attitudes. So all, all different kinds. I start every year. Um, it, my kids know that every single year, the first two weeks of August, we do this huge growth mindset lesson and activity. I always start with just helping them learn about the brain. And so you can see there are just different lessons going on. So I start with your brain is a muscle. And then right here, you can see that there is a watch, a discuss and a share to class story. Um, so this is super awesome. So I start the activity and I will play this video. Make it big so they can see it. So it's gonna go through. How it works, okay. said Katie. Anyone can be smart, you just have to work at it. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Okay, so Mojo. there's the video, and then it has some discussion questions. And so we also use this during morning meeting, turn and talk, they turn to their shoulder partner. When we're in morning meeting, they are randomly in different places, so they're not necessarily sitting next to their best friend, because it's really important that even though we all have besties and we all have friends that we like to talk to, that we're able to communicate and talk to anyone that is you know, next to us or in a group with us, and so that's what we really try to instill in our kids. So they'll talk about this, and then I will go back to um, random select. And so I will randomly select, okay, John and your partner, what did you two talk about when you were talking about why the brain is important? How does it help us? And so that's, you know, what we'll use that for. And then I also like to share. So I will share this on class, um, on my class story. And I will pick Miss Boykin 5C. It has now been shared to my story. So now if I go back and I look at my class story, Okay, there it is, refreshed. And so now I have it shared right here on my class story. Um, and so then I can also edit this and I can put a little message right here and just say, you know, this week we are looking to work on growth mindset. So please, Watch this video at home and discuss as a family the importance of having a growth mindset in your life. Okay, and so I'm going to save edits. And then I also encourage parents to comment on here and tell me what they talked about. Also, if they don't want to comment, I will go over here to portfolios and you can add an activity and I might call this my growth mindset activity as a family discuss the importance of having a growth mindset and share a video of why your family thinks it is an important part of your 
are live. And then they can add a video. I can assign that to class. So you can really, you know, take this and work it multiple ways. Um, I just think these videos are awesome. And like I said, they have so many different videos. And we got to those from our classroom. We went to Big Ideas. And then you will notice, <clears throat> excuse me, that there are so many different kinds. They have a new one that they added called Moods and Attitudes. And so that will definitely be one that we watch. And then again, I just blow it up right here. When Mojo blow it back down. We can discuss it. And then we can share it to our class dojo. So today we looked at our big ideas. We looked at how we can take those videos. We can share them to our class story. We can also have fun with it, make activities, um, communicate with our families, and really keep them involved with what we are doing at school so we can continue to build that healthy partnership with our students and our families. Thank you so much for joining.